Welcome to the In My Opinion Show with Ronald Barrington, <coughs> Robinson and Friends, seen on the internet 24 hours a day. Welcome also to our multi multiple millions of viewers out there in television land. I want to introduce my very talented co-host, Mrs. Jackie Williams. Hello, everyone. And Mr. Henry Hatter. Yeah, good afternoon, Ryan. Good. And Jackie. Let's talk about school shootings and massacres. Since January 1st, 2018, there have been 52 sh shootings in and around schools. Why? Where do we lay the blame? The president, Democrats, Republicans, schools, mental health pr pr practitioners, law enforcement, NRA. In published reports, the president got over $30 million in donations from the NRA in 2016. Many Republicans and Democratic lawmakers in Washington, Washington got millions more in donations from the NRA. This tells me nothing much is going to change. Money over children. The recent Florida massacre and wounding of students as well as other school massacres and shootings around the country and evacuations of thousands of other schools has brought this terrible inhumanity situation to the forefront. What must we do as parents, as a society, a country, to protect our children? History tells us, if you go on the, uh, on the internet and just put in school shootings from about 1700, uh, when uh, data was uh, first started, there's been thousands of school shootings. This is horrible. Jackie, what is your thoughts on uh, these, 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 these shoot, school shootings and massacres? In fact, my daughter's school was evacuated yesterday. I heard about that yesterday. Okay. Well, it, it's, it's, it's so many things that needs to be done. First of all, we need gun control. Because anytime the kids got to come and tell us that we need gun control, because in Florida alone, they received an F. Um, for safety of gun laws because they don't have the same rules that we have here in Michigan. They don't have to do an application to get the rifles or the um, automatic weapons. They can be 18. They don't have to be 21. They don't keep track of them and I didn't know that. They don't keep track of them. So there's so many things that are loose in Florida and actually Florida is the state that drives other lawmakers to copy their laws like the stand your ground so they have a lot of issues in Florida because the stand your grounds has always been horrible and this uh, where you can receive an automatic weapon at just a neighborhood store without a background check they don't do background checks on that so it's so many different things that we need to do first of all we need to tighten up the gun um, safety that's the first thing secondly we need to make sure that um, our security around our campuses are adequate because our kids should be protected if nobody else is protected. They should be able to go in a school and be able to learn without having to wonder if their life is in danger. It's hard for parents to release their children when they're not sure if they're ever gonna come home and that has to be a horrible feeling. So that's just one step that we need to do is the gun safety regardless to what the NRA, and the NRA is a big supporter of not just Republicans, Democrats, but the top reporter, I mean, um, supporter is um, McCain. He's a top person that the NRA supports. And even when Tom, what was it, Cruz um, Mario um, in Florida, when he was faced with a student and said, what are you going to do to help us? I mean, they are compassionate. And one thing about the school that they targeted this time is that the kids are able to verbally tell you how they feel without mm -hmm. a lot of coaching because it's a very prominent neighborhood. There mm -hmm. is no poverty. It's supposed to be the safest neighborhood. So this is a perfect example to start the conversation and get some stuff moving because if it happened in the safest neighborhood, it would happen in any neighborhood. And also, too, that uh, that senator from Florida, he got over uh, 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 Rubio, the mm -hmm. one that you're yeah. talking about. Mm -hmm. He got over three million dollars from the NRA in 2016. Yeah, he wouldn't. Okay. He wouldn't talk about it. He just kept saying other stuff we could do. He wouldn't deal with the NRA. He's not ready to lose those funds. And I'm just glad that that that, that all these children are coming are coming uh, together all across the country and around around the world. You know what I mean? To to uh, to hopefully uh, get some new uh, legislation in place 
All right. Uh, there's no way in the world that somebody should have. Who needs an uh, AR-15? All right. For what? For what purpose? Okay. For what purpose? And as we speak, those sales are going off, going off the charts right now. Off the chart. AR-15s. Yeah. There's over 300 million guns in the United States. Okay. Well, why not? We manufacture guns. We, we export guns to Israel and, 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 and various other countries, okay? Now, I don't, I wish that, that they would overturn, I mean, that they would come to their senses. And I think when we get to start to putting, out, put, putting a lot of those uh, uh, politicians out of office, and right. uh, 2018, maybe the, you know, maybe they'll maybe they'll smell the the, the smell the coffee. They'll hear us. They're here. Okay. They're here. Our cry. Because mm -hmm. that's the only way it's going to change. Is we got to change. We got to change the mindset in, in Washington D.C. If right. not, it's going to continue. It it's can't been, be business as usual. It's been it's been it's been going on for uh, from the 1700s. Okay, all over the world, school shootings. And I just thank God that, you know, uh, uh, yesterday that it was a note, just a note. But they evacuated the whole, uh, the whole, the whole high school. Right. And, and, it, and, 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 and it happened again um, uh, somewhere, you know, somewhere in Wayne County yesterday as well. And that, you know, that's ridiculous. So, and another thing too, I do not agree with Trump talking about uh, arming teachers. In you know, in the school. First of all, if that person is going to come in there and shoot up something, something, that teacher is probably going to be the last person to know about it, unless it's in her, his or her class. Okay, they had three sheriff deputies up there at, at Parkland. Okay, <laughs> that were <Right>. cowards. <laughs> Did not even go in the school. And I hope they fire and and and, and, and they were train shooters. Exactly, <laughs> they were right? train shooters. Didn't even go in. Didn't even go in the school. Mm -hmm. Now, teacher is to teach. That's right. All right, to teach our children, not to play policeman. And they're okay? not even getting paid enough to do that. And they're not getting enough. They're not getting paid enough to teach, let alone add another exactly, thing to exactly, their agenda. Exactly. No, they need to be compensated, especially now because the safety is an issue. They need to be compensated. You need to pay teachers what they're worth. Mm -hmm. Pay them for it because their lives now are targets. You know of what course, I mean? So you need course. to pay them, not for an extra bonus as your president suggested, not to give them a bonus for special training. They've already been trained. They've been to school. They're teachers. They teach our kids. They've already done everything. They're certified. They've already done all those things. Don't add another agenda to them. And who's to say them teachers, you know, uh, <laughs> don't go off on the deep end? <laughs> all right? They're human beings as well. Right. It's not just children. All right? And then, why is it another thing too that makes me so doggone angry? All right, why do they why do they say that if it's a white kid, all right, he got mental issues, but if it's a black person or a person of color, okay, <laughs> they're a drug addict, uh, terrorist. Or, or a terrorist, or a thug. That really burns me. Okay, when have you seen when when and you folks out there? When have you seen a, a, a black person shooting up a school? He's not going to make it Killing out. the multiple, multitudes that have been murdered already. He won't make it out. Okay. <laughs> he won't make it Who? out alive. When, when, has that occurred? Maybe it has, but I'm not aware of it. And this ban or whatever they, Trump's uh, trying to uh, 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 initiate, for okay. the guns to be able to be automatic, switch from um, from manual to automatic. They stock, they stock whatever they call them, all right? Mm -hmm. That's not the end of the gun that, that the bullets come out of. Okay? So that's just another play on words. It's, stup it's stupidity, in my, in my opinion. All right. I'm not a I'm not a I don't belong to the NRA, you know, and, and I don't hunt or anything. But I know a little bit about, you know, about weapons when I work, you know, I work, you know, I worked in law enforcement. All right, for the state of Michigan. That's not the end of the end, end of the gun to stop. That stop mess is not the end of the gun that the bullet comes out of. <laughs> so 
who who cares about that thing? You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Mr. Hatter. Well, <clears throat> if there's a lot of text here, I do belong to the NRA. Okay. I have an annual membership in the NRA, but I have no guns. Okay. It's the police department to protect me. We have 900,000 policemen in, this, in the United States. And uh, something's wrong if we have to send teachers out or a <clears throat> hitman to uh, kill a person who is a terrorist at school. And we have all of these policemen. Why are we paying them? It's their job to protect society. And people say, oh, well, my personal safety comes first. I think about me. And then they might say their family. But there's an innate will in Americans to own these guns. Mm -hmm. They're fascinated with guns. Mm -hmm. They've always been fascinated with guns. Well, I don't mind them being fascinated with them. I hear guns go off all the time around my house. So do I. Uh, <clears throat> and they echo. And I know that someday that people think because of the <clears throat> the paradigm shift that we will be at guerrilla warfare someday in the future. But I don't believe that. I, I don't I don't believe that will ever happen. And now because of what you see on TV, I don't even believe that we're going to have the apocalypse for um, uh, the paradigm shift. Because although we've been talking about, and, and this is highly related to the shooting and stuff that you're talking about, um, but it's not the school shootings, but it's just shootings in the United States. I'd better break this up so we don't get confused and I get lost. But <clears throat> uh, I don't agree with teachers having guns either. It's not their job to, to, not. to shoot kids. The kids, and you know what the most important things that teachers must do in the classroom? Protect the kids. Sure. Academics is second. If they can count to 10, that's, that's fine. But the first obligation a teacher has, and the administration, and the people, uh, school coach, is to protect the kids' safety. And I heard the person, uh, the, the uh, sheriff in Florida say, well, you know what? He says, we got a plan. And then there were people just commenting on what should be done in this country. They had gone crazy talking about all of this. And they said, uh, well, and you mentioned it here, there was an armed policeman outside who refused to go into school. Three of them. <laughs> Hiding on the side of the car. They weren't hiding. Yes, they were. Kids said. are a protected class. I hope that I can at least uh, convince you that kids are a protected class. They're within their own domain. And nobody can come in and jerk the kids around. They're protected. Not even a policeman outside. He may not have his facts right. He goes in and starts shooting up their own kids. And then you will see the mom and pop. You will see the most of the money come in and put a thing in your behind. And also, too, um, based, upon, based upon what you're saying, okay, now you got a teacher in the school with a gun, yeah. okay, and you got a disruption, and here comes, here comes, here comes the cop in there. Guess who's going to get blown away? The teacher. Because all that cop is going to see is that gun. Well, um, I'd hate to think that... Uh, uh, when these uh, incidents do erupt, we have no idea where they're coming from and when they're coming. Right. Well, you well have this, no one, idea. this one you did. Because there was 18 complaints to the sheriff department that went and sat on a desk. Mm -hmm. They said they went uninvestigated. And matter of fact, there was a call on January the 5th mm -hmm. by a neighbor that said, this guy is going to explode. No one did anything with that. What should he have done? The kid had not what created the F, an what incident. What the FBI said they should have did. They should have sent FBI, field. They that's just all field. political 
BS. No, I mean, if I call 18 times, Henry, to your yeah. school district yeah. and tell you that something is going wrong in your school district and you fail to investigate what I'm talking about. They always investigate. Well, they they did. always come up with the same answer. Oh, well, they. What, what, what do we not mean? enough evidence. Not. And you know what the police will say to you? The kid has not committed the overact. Exactly. You got to kill somebody first. You got to mm -hmm. do something. In this country, under this constitution, you are innocent until you. He was on social have media. Yeah, and you're he protected so by your First Amendment right. Thank but you. he was on social media yeah. with a um. A, yeah. a, a, but he hadn't done anything. Some kind of covering on his head, yeah. saying that he is going to shoot up a school. That's a threat. Yeah, that's a threat. That's a threat. It went on un uninvestigated as well. Well, I, I can't understand why it was an investigation. Well, this is what they're trying because to figure out now, is why no You guys one know that we had one at Kyle, right? We had two. Yeah. Just within the last week or two. Yeah, I remember hearing I it. I can't talk about it, but uh, but uh, if you had seen the video or the TV uh, release of that, you, you might have seen people criticizing the Board of Education for not doing something. Well, since you brought uh, Clio uh, schools up, your administrator out there, what what uh, what preventions uh, policies do, do do they have in place? We have everything in place. everything that we're required by law to have in place. Okay, well, tell our and, tell our, our public what what some not necessarily what Clio, but things that these school systems uh, districts uh, 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 have to do. Well, when you, when you uh, if there's someone who says that there's a kid that's going to shoot up the school, there's a hit list out there. Uh, there are kids that are planning to uh, bomb the school in any way or do anything to harm or hurt the school or its occupants. Teachers will investigate that. The, the superintendent is obligated to uh, investigate that. The sheriff department also has a backup. The city of Clio has backups. And the difficulty is treading on the rights of other people while we have a constitution. The constitution is both good and bad in certain circumstances. Mm -hmm. But we would not want to live without it. Right. So when we want to protect the rights of kids to the best of our ability. When we have, we have, uh, evidence that there's a pending threat. To okay, the so with this guy, he entered the school, so yeah. are there not detectors when you go yeah. into the school? Yeah. So this guy entered the school, no mm -hmm. detectors went off. Now, he was kicked out of the school because yeah. of his bad behavior, and he was voted most likely to be a shooter. That's what he was... Oh, voting. you mean the student? The student. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I'm saying, so when they come in, you're mm -hmm. saying that there is a... So how did it not go off? I, I, I don't understand uh, why he got in, but it, yeah. you can't come into right. That's uh, why I'm trying to. You figure can't out. come into area schools without being detected. You have to go through um, a set of doors, two doors at least, <coughs> before you can get into school. They're both locked. So I want and somebody how observes you as you come through uh, that entrance, and right. you're also being photographed. So I wonder how all of those, because that's what they were talking about, the failed mission. That's what they call it in Florida, the failed mission, because they were saying that he went undetected. He brought a gun into the school. He was able to get shots off without anybody realizing that he was even in danger. I'm sorry, I don't understand how he got past it. I don't know either. That's why I was asking you, because I don't I, know I, how. I can't imagine. But Because even when I go to the schools here, it's like before you even make yeah. two steps, they're like, who are you and what are you yeah. doing? <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't think that that parkland had, uh, had uh, Maybe uh, metal they detectors. Well, uh, see, okay, they, they, they live they, in the exclusive they, area. Exclusive they live area. in the safest and place in Florida. Happen. Yeah. The safest. And, and area parents, in Florida. parents don't want their kids living in a police state, and nor do I want to live exactly. in a police state, I nor do you. I want my kids to go in the police state. That could be horrible. Mm -hmm. If you've never lived under those circumstances, then you probably would be asking for something that you wished you had, did not have, if it occurred. Mm -hmm. And you, you, once these systems get built, it's hard to back off. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that that's, that's what they're wrestling with. How? What is the next step, and how do we mm -hmm. go about that next step, and protect the rights of kids under the law, and protect? Well, the, the first thing people. that they were talking about was 
when um, Trump came into office, he rolled back some of the regulations of people with mental issues being able to obtain guns. Not everybody with a gun has a mental issue. No, I'm just saying. I don't think that any blacks have mental issues. No. <laughs> That's not true. But anyway, um, so they said that he rolled back the regulation for people who had mental issues to be able to obtain guns. Well, he but shouldn't in, be the president. In this, <laughs> in this state, you don't even have to do a background check to get that gun. You don't have to do anything. You just have to be 18. The guy said it took another young person went in and did a test. He said it took him 20 minutes to mm -hmm. watch somebody get a gun. They didn't ask him for no ID, anything. They just gave it to him at a neighborhood place, you know, so it was really easy to obtain that gun. We had a person, we had a doctor that uh, did this just three days ago. He demonstrated it. Yeah. Uh, is that what you're talking no, about? No, this is a, a one of the young people from this high school oh. was watching somebody buy a gun because he was saying it still hadn't changed. Well, I, I think uh, Americans, first of all, have got to understand that people have to be responsible for their actions or their consequences. Of course. I agree. Um, yes. So um, if you're always going to say, well, the kid had a bad day and um, he didn't have enough to eat yesterday and his parents had been slaves and all of that stuff that people pack into excuses. Uh, we we do, it's hard to defend against that because there's a mindset in the public that kids and people who have these these um, aberrations need to be protected under right. the law. Mm -hmm. And but it's just difficult for us to really get people to accept responsibility for it, if they can. Now I'm not talking about the mentally ill. And we do have mentally ill people. Of course, but how do you, how do you, just by looking at somebody, you know what I mean? How do you, how do you determine if they have emotional issues, all right? I mean, they could have, I got a list of just some of, you know, some of the things. You know, some of these people, copycat, uh, uh, ethnic issues, bullying, racism, mental yeah. illness, yeah, all of uh, divorce, sexual abuse. Uh, uh, lovers quarrel, you know what I mean? Uh, romantic breakup. But uh, when you, know you what and I, mean? I went to school, if and you didn't come with a gun. You didn't kind of have detectors. You could walk in and out, you could hang out the window, you can go upstairs and jump down mm -hmm. off the second floor onto the ground, and you know, no consequences. You know? Mm -hmm. We were not a dangerous people. We have evolved to become dangerous mm -hmm. to each other. Maybe it's because of the crowd and the population growth or whatever. Or maybe we just live with too much affluency. But uh, when we went to school, there were no guns. There were no detectors. What has changed? The freedom. That's what they were talking about. All we lived in a free and democratic well, society, no, which because, we still do. What has changed? But now, you know, well, we can't, we're services, afraid of each other. The services change because that's what they were talking about. Um, on the news is that the services change because now kids are not going to the same kind of homes that we went to. Kids are going to wounded homes like this particular guy. His mother died of the flu. So he was placed with somebody else. So we don't know what came behind that. We don't know if he was being counseled. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We don't know what came behind all of that. But again, on Valentine's Day, when it's supposed to represent love, this is how you felt. You understand what I'm saying? So it's some, you can see some signs here, but they were talking about services not being provided to our young people when they get out of school because you don't know what they're going to face against. And so this you know, is what brings up. Can I, can I just say this? And I, I always hesitate. I feel guilty when I say this and uneducated. But um, one of the things when you were at home, and you guys can uh, witness to this, uh, if your parents ask you, did you throw a stone and break the neighbor's window? And uh, I don't know how you would answer that. Or maybe you answer I'm that. telling you. But I know what I had to do. Yeah, I had to, I had to admit. Yeah. Uh, I did too. Or yeah. the punishment was right. worse than breaking but, the window. <laughs> but do you see evidence of that stiff But well, that's what I'm saying. And it's not the same parents what? at home. And the way I learned things. To, to be the coward that I became was because uh, there was always somebody looking at it. As strange as this is, 
my behavior was being detected by a, a by a being that I can't see. And you know who that was? Please give us a name. Yeah, you're <laughs> <he's> crazy. Huh? <laughs> it wasn't Big Brother, by um. You, are you okay? Are you, are you, are you with us? No, but, but stop and think about it. But who is it? Who is it? The religion that we were guided by. Okay, call him who he is. Go act like he's some ghost or something. Well, it, you're talking about no. We we had, and you could you could still see people. No, I, I our just, ages still talk about that and why. No, you're right. My mother used to say, "I can't see you all the time," mm. but he sees you everywhere. Yeah. And I was scared because but I was. But you just guys like, make a joke of it. That's why no, I say you uh, said, that no, you're it was about, difficult because this was one of the things that I learned. I learned uh, to de develop character from, uh, and to be uh, cautious about how we treat other people. Yeah, of course. And Respect. all of a sudden, today, parents are saying, "Well, if the teacher gives you a rough time, you just give them a rough time." And, you know, it's it's that revenge thing. We created a kind of culture that um, that for the individual prevails. Nobody else prevails. Well, you know what they said. They said it started at little things. Yeah. Back to what you were saying, they took prayer out of the schools. So they're not no longer going in there submitting to a higher power, which is God. They're no longer doing that. So they go in school. They can't say anything about that. Now, you can come in there and cuss and do whatever. That's acceptable behavior. But to better us, we can use that stuff. And so we took, now you can't discipline your kid. So now you got to talk to your kids. You can't discipline your kid. And they know because they're listening while you're making all these changes. And they realize, oh, they can't hit me or I'll call the, I'll call the police or I'll call. We've trivially, trivialized the old behaviors that yep. held us stable. That's right. And comfortable. That's right. And secure within their own skin. Yeah. But now we're not in, we're insecure and unstable. Mm -hmm. And you guys are going to go out and, and herd up all of the shooters. The next shooter is just waiting. That's sure. right. Absolutely. Like you said, back to your list. Copycat. Mm -hmm. Sexual. I mean, when people sit at home and you don't have anybody to talk to, your voice is the loudest voice you hear. So you're like, they don't know what you're going through. They don't know how hurt you are. And then yeah. if we don't have services to bring out these things so we can talk about them and get them, you know, get some help from them, then all they do is fester. They go to social media mm -hmm. and then people add to it. Because, you know, sometimes people on social media are just as mean as people in the street. And they'll say stuff like, you should kill yourself. I mean, crazy stuff. So it's not always supportive where you go to seek help. You know what I mean? It's not always supportive. And that's what he did. He went to social media and he said, I'm going to shoot up. He had his Make America Great hat on, a, a American flag around his head, and he said, I'm going to shoot up a school. Well, we, we hear that all the time. That's something that But we get goes comfortable on. with, I think. That, well, yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and, and we go and through, we the, our we go through yeah. the gestures of listening to people and, and, and the counseling and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. then we go back to our routines. Mm -hmm. that's uh, you because, have not solved the problem. Yep, yeah, that's because we're not giving proper services. Well, and you, then, and the budget was cut. The background checks are being cut for gun safety, um, services for mentally ill. All of these services are being cut. So what do you think we're doing? We're producing. How much of this are we driving that process? By uh, The psychologist comes up with a new definition of whatever this is that the person has. And they put you on hell doll or something like that, and and, uh, and then there, what people uh, who want to escape going through the criticism do is that they keep their thoughts to themselves, disassociate themselves because they don't yeah. want to be put in a. Box. At this time, I'm unfortunately we must bring, uh, in my opinion, show to a close. But uh, I want to uh, thank our millions of viewers worldwide for uh, watching. This is Ronald Barrington Robinson and friends saying until next time, stay focused.